Today we want to talk to you about being filled by the Holy Spirit. And maybe you've heard that before and it's a little bit uh, confusing. So let's talk about that today. As you know, we're talking about the Holy Spirit and what he wants to do in and through our lives. But today we're talking about being filled by the Spirit. Yeah, one of the best analogies I've heard for this relationship we have with the Holy Spirit is that of like a sailboat. So in the Old Testament, the word for spirit is ruach in Hebrew. And in the New Testament in Greek, it's pneuma. And it means wind, it means breath. And so when we talk about our relationship with the Holy Spirit, this is an infinite God without any limitations. How, how do we have a relationship with him? Uh, there is some mystery to it, but there are some things that we can do that in essence are us lifting up our sail. And, and so there's steps that we can take to lift up our sail and then the ruach, the pneuma, the Spirit of God fills those sails and, and guides us and leads us and, and moves us. And so we're to be filled with the Spirit, meaning ongoing, ongoing filling, lifting up our sail through different disciplines. And like Chad mentioned, we'll talk more about that in the coming week. And in that, the Spirit guides us. Yeah, you can't control the wind, but you can be prepared for it. Mm -hmm. uh, these are our verses today. This is Ephesians chapter 5. If you want to pause, you can turn there. I'm going to read verses 17 through 20, or you can just listen closely. The Apostle Paul writes, Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. How do we do that? Well, do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. And then he gives us some ideas here. He says, speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing and make music in your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So he gives us some ideas there on how to be filled with the Spirit. He talked about singing. He talked about uh, an attitude of gratitude. He talked about praying in the name of, of Jesus. But one of the things that we can do to be filled with the Holy Spirit is just to ask him to fill us. Now, I am going to point this out uh, because people always have questions along these lines, especially if you're not familiar with the Holy Spirit. Sometimes we'll see other worship services, other churches, and people are filled with the Holy Spirit uh, and they're swaying or they're doing different kinds of things. Uh, let me just make this observation. He says, don't be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Spirit. Uh, there's another moment in the book of Acts where people are filled with the Spirit and people are like, are, are, they, are they drunk? I just want to address that. Uh, sometimes when I'm alone and I pray, and I pray, fill me Holy Spirit, and I do my hands, and we're going to practice this here in a minute, and I pray, come Holy Spirit, sometimes my eyes will be closed and I'll sway. Now here's the thing. I'm all alone, right? So nobody's seeing me but Jesus, okay? But if I was out on the street doing that, or if I was standing in the hallway at the office doing that, what would you think about that? I, I might have some questions about your mental state. Yeah, you'd be like, what's, what's he been yeah. drinking, yep. right? What did you have at breakfast? Anyway, uh, that's why that is. There's something about the filling of the Holy Spirit that does have a uh, physical uh, connection. And so here's what I want to do. I, I want to pray for us. And uh, we're going to pray, come Holy Spirit. And we've been doing this on our prayer times on, on Wednesday night. And be okay with turning your hands up. Be okay with closing your eyes. If you start to sway, that's okay. Just take a moment and allow the Holy Spirit to fill you. And, and let's just ask him to do that. In, in fact, I've been talking here for a bit. Why don't you lead us? Yeah, there's, a, there, there's an expectancy when we pray, come Holy Spirit. It's lifting our sail and, and we're just providing space for God to do what he wants to do. And just, uh, just over a year ago, I was actually reading through my journal. I keep a little journal of, you know, experiences or thoughts or ideas and, and prayers. And I, I went back and I looked at a journal from uh, just over a year ago. And I was in my backyard by myself. Maybe you're by yourself right now uh, watching this. But I, I just expectantly uh, was praying, come Holy Spirit. And I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know uh, what the experience was going to be like. But I just I knew that God wanted to be with me. And, and I wanted to create space for, for the Holy Spirit to, to fill my sail. And as I was praying, come Holy Spirit, uh, I, I began to kind of get like this chill, uh, kind of like, you know, when you get like a little goosebumps or, or whatever. And I thought, okay, that's normal. And that happens sometimes when I pray. And, and then it happened again and again, but then just like this warmth, like just radiating uh, from within. And I was overwhelmed. I was surprised 
Uh, but then I was overwhelmed by this sense of just God's incredible love for me. Yeah. And I, I'm reading through my journal and, and I was just reminded that God loves me, that nothing else in this life matters in comparison to this infinite God who loves me like a child. And, and I actually, um, Chad joked earlier about thinkers, feelers in the sermon this last weekend. And uh, I'm definitely a thinker, I'm not a feeler, uh, but I just began to sob just uncontrollably. Robert is not a crier. I, I could count on one hand uh, the times that I've, I've cried uh, like that in my lifetime. And it was just, it was a beautiful moment. And it was a moment of just experiencing God's love. Um, and sometimes I've prayed, come Holy Spirit and had none of that. And so again, that's, that's kind of how the wind works and our job is just to, to lift the sail. But um, we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna enter into a time wherever you're at uh, of just expectancy that God would fill us, that we would go on being filled, overflowing by his spirit. And so uh, I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna invite you to pray with me. And then this video is gonna end and you don't have to stop praying. You can continue to wait on the Holy Spirit and, and to lift that sail and, and see what God does in this time. Yeah, for the Holy Spirit to fill us, we're asking him to take control of us. And so let's surrender to him. Yeah, lead us. Let's pray. Come Holy Spirit. God, we come before you in this moment, expectant of what you might do in this moment. However you wanna fill us, maybe you wanna give us a, a thought, remind us of a verse, Whatever it is, God, we make ourselves available. We lift up our sails and we pray, come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit.